Hey guys, it's Netcase, and today's video is a kind of special video. Um, I joined a group called the Canvas Swap, which is a group of artists that do a zine where uh, basically a bunch of artists get together and we swap around different stages of our art. So like. Uh, if you sketch something, you trade it off to somebody else, and you ink somebody else's sketch, and then you'll then color somebody else's inks. But, uh, I joined kind of late for this time, and when I put in my application to join, uh, the... Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, but I, I was asked to do the cover, since, uh... It was a little late to be put into the pool for everything else, and so I decided to go ahead and do that. So that'd be a good foray into, you know, getting into this whole thing. Um, so I am drawing the mascot for Canvas Swap named Zinni, who is a uh, zebra that kind of has like lighter toned stripes and everything. Uh, this month's. I guess it's not this month. I think it's just this issue. Uh, I don't think it's monthly. Um, this issue's theme is steampunk, and so I gave Zenny like some mechanical wings and like a classic, you know, leather vest and stuff like that. So yeah, I I think it turned out pretty cool. Everybody seemed to dig it so far. So really, the point of this video. Um, is to not only just show the art because you know I needed a video for today but also um, to help try and promote canvas swap uh, right now this is uh, like all the proceeds of sales go to just making the book and stuff and us artists are uh, not making any money off of it unless we're just selling books which I've actually purchased a couple extras to try and take to cons with me because I thought this would be a uh, like a cool thing to do, um, like to take and be like, look, I did a cover. But also, uh, it's also nice to have like an extra one or so, so I can show people something that I've done for other things. But yeah, um, this took a really long time. <laughs> um, I remember working on this, and it just taking so long. It, it, it turned out really nice and I'm fine that it took so long but it just took so long and I'm not used to doing uh, this much work on one picture in one sitting. Normally at this point I would have like stopped and then come back but I was like no I need to get this done so I got it done <laughs> in basically one sitting to make sure it was done completely. Um, as you saw whenever back in the sketching phase, I actually edited the sketch and tried to make sure to include that in like the video and everything so you guys saw that. I was using my trusty ruler to make my straight lines because Clip Studio doesn't have good straight line thing in my opinion. So Now these wings cause me so much issue. <laughs> I keep redrawing the little like wing bits on that one wing that's sticking out so yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, I am still sick. <laughs> I am not as bad as I have been. Like, my throat is finally starting to feel better. But I'm still coughing and sneezing throughout the day. But uh, this week I've been catching up on commissions and whatnot that I took last week. Uh, so I haven't been streaming that much. Even though I did stream a bunch on Tuesday, um, I streamed on Twitch for a long time because it was my birthday. So I did it long game stream just to kind of give myself a break but also like have something to enjoy a little bit on my birthday. Uh, we were gonna go to the Ren Fair this weekend as like my last little birthday thing but turns out last weekend was the last weekend of the Ren Fair so I didn't get to go this year. Like I get not having it super into summer just because it gets hot but I don't know. I I feel like they could run it a little longer or something. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, so this part, uh, since Zenny has these stripes that are gradiented, I made a clipping layer for all his there. Um, 
like stripes and everything that are going to be gradiated. So like, just to make sure that I didn't mess up anything else and I made sure that like they looked right and everything. So what you do for this kind of thing is you take a layer and you draw the shapes you want. And so that's what I'm doing here is I'm making my stripes and everything. And then you'll put another layer on top of it and clip it to it and then you just fill it. Like that's what I did with the black. And then you can just freely work on top of that and it only covers up that area that you have blocked in. So as you can see, I can mess with like the lighting and stuff, but it doesn't go on to like his, uh, to the gray base color for the character. And so I can keep editing the colors and whatnot. And it turns out really cool. Like I actually really liked how the uh, stripes turned out and I gave the little dotty effect that I've been doing for colored stripes and stuff and markings lately. So yeah. Um, I know, I stopped there for a good bit. But yeah, this picture, like I said, took a while, but it turned out really nice. And uh, actually, um, after July, I will be able to start selling a print of this, and I plan on doing it. So uh, if you guys are going to like MFF and stuff, I should have it there. There we go. This is when I'm re-redrawing that wing plate thing because I'm just like, no, it doesn't look right. It needs to be bigger. So, yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of uh, coloring on this one. So, like, this is also a larger image than what I normally work on. Like, if you see uh, me working on it over there in the uh, screen, um, I think, yeah, that's like... That was like 20 something percent whenever it zoomed out completely. And so I want to say this is probably the hundred percent, if not a little closer. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a, it's a very big image. I tried to give them a big image so they could, uh, like rework everything and be able to size everything to the cover that they needed and whatnot. Even though I did technically do the right ratio, I just wanted to make sure that like, you know, it, it did it right. <sighs> but yeah, so... Sorry, I'm also still tired. Since again, I'm still sick, I'm not sleeping so well because I wake up snoring and everything. <laughs> but uh, this one I kind of do the same thing I've been doing where I've been doing colored lines and then full color over it, which turns out nice. I really like how it looks. Um, I really wish... I had done a commission this week and I really wish I had recorded the full process of it, but I didn't, sadly. <laughs> so, because that actually showed my uh, full color stuff really well. Um, but yeah, it's up on my website if you guys go look at it. Uh, it's one of my newest po posts in my portfolio on my website. Um, also on Twitter I posted it, so yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I think this is where I change. Yeah, this is so I've gone over from Clip Studio into Psy at this point because I still can't get the uh, the style that I like over in Clip Studio. I'm sure there's a way to do it, and I've been told there is. I just haven't been able to get it to do the same thing yet, and so I just you know I go back and forth whenever I'm doing shading. But I still I do most of my work now in Clip Studio and just do. Uh, like the shading and stuff over in Psy and that's it. Like cell shading and flat colors are still all completely done in Clip Studio now and uh, yeah just the, the full color goes over here. It just th this is the style I like for my full colored stuff so this is why I still go back to Psy and still do it. Um, I prefer Clip Studio now for like just drawing and whatnot because I like the feel better than Psy. Um, I also like that a lot of the uh, like commands and stuff are down at the bottom. Um, I know that may seem weird but like with how big my tablet is as you guys can see it's really easy to just get the options down below instead of having to reach all the way across my screen to get to the top um, of the uh, the tablet. And I know it's like, oh, it's so big, you have to reach across it. Ugh. I know it doesn't sound like much, but like when you're doing that all day, it really gets it, like your shoulder starts hurting really bad. 
and I'm pretty sure that's why my shoulder has stopped hurting as bad since I've switched over to Clip Studio. So yeah, I, you know, I'm not gonna apologize for saving my shoulder, you know, any stress like that, because it definitely has been stressful for whenever I wake up and I'm like, oh, why is my shoulder killing me? And so I decided to start the background in this as well, and then I'm now switched over to Clip Studio. You guys can kind of tell whenever the background is light gray, it's the uh, sigh, and then whenever it's the dark gray like this, it's Clip Studio. Um, I, I'm pretty sure you can actually change the, uh, the like, colors and stuff in Clip Studio like for this. Like, I'm pretty sure I can make the light background, but yeah. But yeah, here's the final image. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!